Uh, thank you everyone for being here with us today. Uh, thank you to Never Again and the Amore Network for organizing this event. And thank you to all of our speakers. My name is David Valise. Uh, I am the director of the Rhode Island Interfaith Coalition to Reduce Poverty. And I'm very excited to be here today to introduce some wonderful speakers who are gonna highlight uh, some legislation, but also speak out against fa facilities like the Wyatt the Tent Detention Center that are not really working for our communities. We're also here today to speak for those who don't have a voice right now and to make sure that we're not profiteering um, of the incarceration of human beings, as well as criminalizing the immigration system. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna speak very long. I'm gonna make sure our, you get to hear our speakers. Our, our first speaker um, is Senator Acosta, Jonathan Acosta, who has been a leader an advocate here in Central Falls for a very long time, working on social justice issues. And now we are happy to have him at the Rhode Island Senate uh, continuing his work. Uh, Senator? Yeah. Uh, thank you all for, for being here today. Appreciate your time. In the 1990s, the rapper Tupac Shakur rapped, instead of war on poverty, we got a war on drugs so the police can bother me. And so I want to frame the bill package that we're proposing within the historical legacy that it's trying to address. It's no coincidence that the rise of mass incarceration and the war on drugs coincides with the systematic divestment and dismantling of the social welfare state in America. We decided in the 80s and 90s on bipartisan terms and very popular social terms that we were going to address the symptom of poverty rather than the cause and start incarcerating people for demonstrating behaviors, deviance and crime that are associated with poverty. Since then, what we have seen is that we have become the largest jailer in the world. We are the richest country with the most people in jail per capita of any other country in the developed world. This is embarrassing. And while it is hopeful that our politicians, former members of Congress, current president, our vice president, have started to acknowledge that we made a mistake, to put out public mea culpas, to say, hey, we fucked up, it's not enough. We need to implement reforms that dismantle that system that we created, that dismantle the perverse profit incentive in putting people behind bars. And so the Wyatt may be an example. The city of Central Falls may be a place in which we see that example. It's not ironic. I think it's actually very telling that in the poorest city of the smallest state of the United States of America, there is a quasi-private jail. This is the broader social issue that we're trying to address. This is just a small piece of it. As I said, I believe that this is highly correlated with poverty. And we have bills and we will make organizing plans to address those things. But first, we have to start dismantling the perverse profit incentive in jailing people. And so we do that by proposing a bill that addresses banks investment in private prisons. We do that by proposing a bill that makes it so that no state or local agency can contract with ICE and continue treating people who are simply looking for a better life as criminals. We do that with a bill that allows us to have public oversight on a facility that's built on public land. And we do that with a bill that makes the way that we treat people in jail in our society a little bit more humane, so that we no longer lock up people in other states and you no longer have to drive hours on end just to see your family members. So I, I wanna thank all the organizations behind me, Never Again Action, Amor, I wanna thank the Interfaith Coalition, and I wanna thank my partner on the other side of the of the State House, uh, Rep. Gerardo, who will be speaking next. So thank you all again, and I look forward to answering your questions later. Uh, thank you so much, Senator Acosta, for your voice and what you bring uh, to Rhode Island.